Hey friends, Green Crown and I had an amazing time in France. I know, France, right? Um, we went to see works by the artist Ari Mati. Uh, we say Henry Matisse, um, and who lived to be 84 years old. He's a French artist and he was known for his color and decorative patterns in his artwork. He was a draftsman, he was a printmaker, he was a sculptor, and of course he was a painter. Uh, and he was what they called one of the Fobs. Fobs is French for wild beasts because back in the day he was the guy that went beyond um, who thought outside of the box and he wasn't very traditional with his paintings and people thought they didn't get it. They really didn't get it. Um, so here came the name Fobs, a wild beast. And he is recognized for his work for over, get this, 50 T years, five zero. That's a long time of doing art. Uh, and he is what they call the leading figure for modern art. When he was about 72 years old, okay, serious face now. When he was about 72 years old, he was diagnosed with abdominal cancer um, and he had surgery and it was not very successful. Um, and it left him chair and bed bound. He had no use of his legs. Um, he couldn't move around by, on his own. He needed an assistant to help him. But that did not stop him from doing his art. Uh, he had his assistant help him. Um, they would paint large sheets of paper. And then he would use scissors, you know, like a regular pair of scissors. Um, and that gave birth to what we call drawing with scissors. And he would cut beautiful images of fishes, birds, vegetation, anything that was around him. And so we are going to do our version of Ari Matisse's The Cat with Red Fish. It looks like this. The Cat with Red Fish. And this is really recommended for our friends uh, third to fifth. But if you are K to two and you would love to try this, please click on that video. Um, for K to two friends, or if you are the third to fifth and you would love to do this version of Cat with Red Fish, only we took away the cat, so it's just called the fish bowl. Fish bowl looks something like this. And I will see you on the drawing board. Hey friends, today we're going to do a very simplified version of Ari Matisse's Cat with Red Fish. Um, only that we would not put in the cat. We're just going to do the fish. Um, and Ari Mati was known for his decorative patterns. So that's really more what I want you to concentrate on in this particular drawing. Okay. So we will need our pencil, a Sharpie marker or black marker or black color pencil or a black crayon would work. An eraser, make sure you have your black paper and an assortment of colors. You can use crayons, markers or markers or color pencils or a combination of all of them or just one. Whatever you have is actually very fine with me. So let's clear the board and I'm going to be doing some drawing and some erasing before I outline. So I want to start off with our fish bowl, which is predominantly um, in the title, the red fish, obviously. So I'm going to do the top of my bowl, which has like an oval shape. And then that oval shape actually goes down on one side, down on the other side. And the line at the bottom that actually creates the fishbowl, the bottom of the fishbowl, I want that line to look like the top of your line. So that's actually called a parallel line. So it looks like a bowl. Wonderful. So I'm going to go ahead and draw in my fish. I think I want my fish to have um, sand, so I'll do the sand afterwards. So I do my fish like an eye almost, and then a little triangle, and then my fish has little fins, and then a little circle for its eye. I'll do the same on this side, so an eye, and I want my fish to be facing that direction, so my tail's gonna flip. I'm gonna put my triangle this way. Triangle for fins and my eye. And I'm just gonna put one more in. So a nice large fish. Big eye. He's got a tail. Fins. 
and an eye. And I want to make it look like he's it, he, they've got sand at the bottom of their fishbowl, so I'm going to do this. And this line is going to pretend to disappear behind the fish. It doesn't actually disappear. The fish is just in front of it. So where you're standing, it just looks that way, okay? And I'm going to put him put the fishbowl on a table, and the table has a circle shape. But if I want my table to look like a circular form, I'm actually going to create the circle that looks more like an oval. So here's the bottom of the table. And again, the lines are going to be almost parallel to the fishbowl line so that it looks right. And then it's going to go back. So now the top part of my table looks like the top part of my bowl and it disappeared somewhere and I'm going to follow it back and connect it. And then here are my legs. So the legs are kind of funny looking shape. So they've got a little bit of a curve there and they curve on this side and there's actually a brace in the middle so it looks like an H. Cool. All right and so the angle that I have this I'm just going to put a diagonal line across my paper and so this will be my wall and this will be my floor. So whatever patterns you put on the wall should be a different pattern from the floor. So my floor, I'm just going to do like little zigzags because in the original picture, it was a chevron rug that was on the floor. Chevron is that fancy word we like to use um, for zigzags. And I don't want it to go through the table because my table is standing away from the rug so it looks like it disappears. So we have these lines and then more of these triangle zigzags. And then we're done. Cool. All right. So up on the wall, I want to, let's draw flowers because that's a nice way to do a decorative pattern. One flower there, one flower there. Let's do another one here. Okay. And maybe some leaves, some twigs. We are ready to outline, friends. I'm going to start back with the fishbowl because that was the first thing where we did. Top of the fishbowl, vertical lines, bottom of the fishbowl. Now I want to outline my fish. Remember when we're outlining, we are outlining the outside lines and not the inside lines. Outside lines, not inside lines. And our sand. I'm going to go ahead and put some dots in our sand so we know where it's sand. All right, in our table. And if you didn't want to put the design on the rug, that's okay with me too. Just make sure you put some color if you're not doing a decorative pattern, okay? Let's do our diagonal line that divides our wall from our floor. And let's do our wall first. Again, we're outlining what we drew. So when we add color, everything's nice and bold. Some friends like to go straight into drawing with a marker. That's very good if you can do that. I like to do that after. That way, if I, just in case I make a mistake, um, I can erase it and I won't feel bad ruining a, a sheet of paper. And these lines that I'm doing on the rug, they're just patterns. We're going to color over them. Um, your crayon is not going to take away from the black outline. So that's not something you should worry about. I'm going to go ahead and color my fishbowl first. So I'm going to use blue for my water. And actually, I'm going to add blue all the way up because my bowl is clear, but it's still reflecting the water. So I want to just create the illusion that there's water all the way up to the very top. All right, and I'm going to use yellow for my sand today. And of course,
course, I do need to have my red fish. Our leaves are going to be green. So I'm going to fill in those green. And today I want pink flowers. And whatever color you add for your pattern, it doesn't have to be flowers. You want to make sure it's the same, okay? Or if you're using two different colors, that you have two different colors, that but they're still the same. So if you did a red flower and a blue flower, that you still have a red flower and a blue flower throughout. I want to have a yellow inside. And I'm going to go with a purple wall. Ms. Q loves using crayons because I can cover a large space very quickly while I can still take my time and still get a lot of details filled in with color. Remember, it's not a race when you're adding color, okay? So just take your time. And I think I'm gonna have a red floor. It's the, just to be like the original. The original had a red floor. I'm gonna use my crayons for my red floor. our version of Ari Matisse cat with red fish only we didn't put the cat in so we will call this Ari Matisse's inspired fish bowl thank you so much for joining me doing these lessons today I had such an amazing time with you um, the fish bowl or the cat with red fish was equally as enjoyable uh, friends, remember Ari Muti, Ari Muti was 84 years old um, and he was a French artist known for his bold use of color in decorative patterns. He was a draftsman, a printmaker, a sculptor, and a painter. And he was what they called a fauve or a wild beast. Um, and he was recognized for his work for over 50 years that's a long time um, and he is really the guy the brilliant mastermind behind creating what we call collage now and this happened after he um, was chair and bed bound um, from being diagnosed with abdominal cancer um, and he didn't let that stop him from creating artwork he painted uh, sheets of paper with gouache um, and use scissors to cut. Um, he drew basically with his scissors. Um, and then he stuck them on walls. He had his assistant help him or he stuck them on different surfaces. Um, and that be what we call collage. All right, friends, I had an amazing time with you today. I hope you stay safe and I will see you next week. <laughs>